Hello and today we're going to look how the NetDuma gaming router can improve your gaming experience and reduce lag when playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Firstly we need to take a look at what causes lag in Call of Duty. So generally speaking there are three factors of lag in Call of Duty. They are the base ping, so your ping with your internet service provider. There's the distance to the server, so your location and what server you connect to or peer host you connect to and finally queuing so this could be you having multiple users multiple devices streaming heavy bandwidth through your internet which will cause bottlenecking all of these three factors can contribute to in-game lag especially in COD the biggest offender of lag is distance to server and the time to travel with skill based matchmaking in newer Call of Duty titles, it is more likely the game will randomly push you to connect to foreign players and servers. As a result, it is likely you will suffer from an increased ping rate and in game lag. This image on screen now illustrates all of the Call of Duty servers worldwide for Modern Warfare 2. Let's discover what the servers are reading and what ping that they're currently providing. The further away a server is generally, obviously it results in a greater ping because the longer the distance, the further the data has to travel. The so NetJuma Geofilter cures this issue for you. In the top left of the Geofilter page, select Add Device and select the gaming device that you use. Select Next and ensure the Recommend a mode for my game is chosen and select Call of Duty from the list. Then select Continue to activate the filtering mode to help you find lower ping servers, your device will then be added to filtering. To set up the geofilter, firstly select the home by address button and enter your location. At the bottom of the page, you can set a search distance by either using the slider or entering a distance, for example, 2000 kilometers, 111 kilometers, 5000 kilometers, it's down to your discretion. When you search and connect to a game, you will see all the servers and players in and outside your selected area. Players and servers within your selected area will be joinable. Players and servers outside the selected area will be blocked and they will be highlighted by a triangle. A secondary hack is to use the ping assist function. Select your set your home manual icon and move it to the middle of the ocean. Set the distance to the smallest possible amount that you can, which is normally 111 kilometers. Then go to the ping assist slider in the bottom right hand side and move the ping to the desired number. For the best results, generally use between 10 and 30 ping. The final option is using the polygon mode. Simply use the pen to draw on the map multiple points which you wish the router to search for. You can do this all over the map and it will then search in the locations that you have selected is the bad server so you can permanently block or allow a server if it's good and block it if it's bad and you can just block it so if i'm playing a game of call of duty let's say i'm playing some league play and i'm just absolutely getting fried or i'm not getting the hit detection that i want i'll just go into the net duma router and select block and then it comes out I find a lot of dedicated servers, I get really bad hit registration, so I'll just automatically go in there and block the, the dedicated server. I prefer the peer-to-peer -peer host, they just seem to be smoother and uh, overall better experience. The final cause of lag is queuing, namely bandwidth data, queuing and bottlenecking due to multiple devices using your bandwidth. Again, NetDuma can cure this problem for you. Let's dive in and take a look. So firstly, you have the NetDuma congestion control. What does that do? Well, on the con congestion control tab, you can use the anti-flood slider to eliminate congestion control completely. You ultimately just use the sliders to reduce the amount of bandwidth which is going through your network. And that then, as a result, stops the bottlenecking which occurs. In my personal opinion, the best experience I've got is by having the congestion control always on and having the upload at 50% and the download at 98%. This seems to work for my internet connection and my game, so give it a try. Finally, we're going to take a look at bandwidth allocation. Go into the options menu and select by devices. This will show all your devices on your uh, connected to your network. 
I would then go into the device that you're gaming on, whether it be an Xbox, a PlayStation 5 or PC, and then really just increase the amount of data which can be allocated to your device. Um, you can do this on the upload and the downloads, and this will really ensure that your device is getting the bandwidth it needs to have a great gaming experience. So we've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Cheers.